What do India, China, and the world economy have to do with the human body? In the amount of time it has taken your brain to understand part of this question, billions of cells in your body have already been talking and listening to each other. We don't need to know exactly how they do it, but we're well aware of what would happen if they suddenly decided to take a break. Right now, every living cell that makes up you is engaged in a biological economy that involves trading, producing, maintaining, and consuming shared resources. Think about it this way. The very cells that make up your mouth have their own mouths, so to speak. Now imagine what it takes to feed all of those cells. There have to be structures to hold and transport nutrients, make chemicals, package proteins, and get rid of wastes. But one cell isn't enough to carry all that weight. So we need lots of cells working together for all the other cells that are busily doing other things. Even the blood vessels that transport blood are made up of cells, cells transporting cells. These tissues, organs, and organ systems form the infrastructure of our bodies. They provide the means and capacity for our personal economy to thrive and grow. We maintain our health when resources are shared cooperatively, flowing to every part of the growing, developing body. We fall ill when there has been a disruption in the flow of resources. So cooperation not only stimulates growth, it also maintains growth against the threat of disease. This natural biological economy may seem quaint and outdated next to the might and gravity of the world economy. But even the world economy is made up of billions of people and people are made up of trillions of cells. This complex system that gives us life is constantly changing. Different parts of our bodies grow at different times and rates. Different nations of the world also grow at different times and rates. The amount of resources they produce or consume changes in real time, just as our muscles consume more energy during exercise. Using this model, we can look at China and India as parts of a greater whole, the world itself. Each nation represents a component of a grander living system, a system that survives only when resources are shared optimally and efficiently. Looking at our own bodies, we can find applications for the economics of the human body in the economics of the human race. Partnerships with emerging economic powers like India and China represent the same kind of cooperation we experience in the systems that make our bodies work so well. If trillions of independent cells can cooperatively give rise to bones, muscles, brains, and conscious thought, imagine what could be done between people, communities, and nations. Imagine a world of possibility.